and welcome back to Your Region 120. I am Jeff Clint, and this is a series of 120 videos of things that I learned as a student of computer science at the University of Virginia. And today we're going to be talking not necessarily about a mathematical topic, uh, or, or science specifically, or even about kind of an, any ancient uh, Greek philosophers or anything like that, but just kind of a, the idea of how to become more rational. And I haven't really gone, I mean, may, maybe I've gone in a little bit of what rational thinking is, or how, how to kind of be a rational person. Uh, but there, there's kind of one easy way to take steps to be a better uh, person, to uh, being a rational person, that is fairly easy to do. It, it, it takes a little bit of work, uh, but, it, but it's not hard work. It's something that you can absolutely do, no matter if you're you know, a high, at the end of high school, kind of an old person at the end of your life, uh, or, or even you know, at your early elementary school, regardless of what it is. And that is, keep a journal or a diary uh, or uh, you know, write things down of things that you think, and, or keep notes, and don't throw them out. You know, don't necessarily organize them in any way, shape, or form. You know, it's better if you do, obviously. But um, if you post things on the internet, on Facebook or Twitter or Reddit or something like that, uh, see if you can, you know, archive them somewhere uh, or put them someplace where they won't get lost with time. And in the long term, come back to look at your journals five or ten years later or one year later, or regardless how long it happens, it's some time afterwards, so that there's some distance between you and your past self, and between you and a different you that has learned things about other people, about the world, uh, whether or not you travel, whether or not you, you encounter new people in your life, um, as you grow as a person, you will start to notice that your opinion does, in fact, change, and that Maybe not everything that you believe, but little bits and pieces. You'll notice are different about yourself, especially over the long period of time, and over periods of time where you read a lot, or where when you, you know when you go into the world and you work a lot, or you, you experience a lot that informs who you are and what you believe. A lot of people say that oh you know arguing on the internet is pointless because everyone has their own beliefs. And that's that. And nobody ever changes their mind based on an in internet argument because, you know, among other reasons, you would look bad if you tried to change your mind in person. You'd be called a flip flopper or something. Uh, and, you know, all your friends would hate you because you'd suddenly be a Republican instead of a Democrat, or a Democrat instead of a Republican, or whatever. Um, but, in fact, if you go back, you'll notice that not only do you change with time, that whole groups change. Time. And not not just small groups, but extremely large groups over time do change the things that they say, the things, the way that they approach things, and the, the things that they believe, even on a fairly deep level. Change happens. It's not always in a predictable direction, but it's interesting to see it when it does happen. And if you have a, an account at a website like Reddit or Twitter, you can actually, you know, go to your your posts from a year ago, or five years ago, or whatever. Uh, you can write a script to show your old comments. If you don't know how to do that, find someone who's a computer programmer who can do it for you, because it's a useful thing to be able to see things that you've said in the past, so that you can overcome the things that you believed without reason, so that you can argue with yourself when you have dis dis discrepancies. Going back to the, the argument by contradiction video, if you can notice things that are suddenly contradictory you and your past view, uh, you can then try to reason in a new direction from it, especially if you're believing things that your group believes. You know, see if you can view how your country or how your province or how whatever it is that you believe uh, is and get your information from. See how it changes with time. Uh, one of the examples of this is the idea of gay rights and gay marriage. Uh, in the 50s, 60s, and 70s, uh, it wasn't even among fairly progressive circles. Uh, the idea of gay people having rights itself was kind of a, a, a risque thing to express. Uh, and that people would have looked down upon you or probably thought that you were gay uh, if you had uh, expressed that, well, maybe we should give them 
the right to have their own personal, you know, have their own space where they can interact with themselves uh, and not have worries about being, you know, violently assaulted uh, in public without cause uh, or just their, you know, the, the way that they themselves uh, love um, other people and how they are kind of built to do that. Uh, and the idea that being gay is not a choice, and that it's just a part of how some people are, are put together. These, these ideas have changed with time. Uh, in Canada, it, it changed, you know, at the biggest level in about 2005 when gay marriage was legalized. But that, that took a long battle. A lot of people had to change their mind about gay people in order for that to work. And that took decades of slow change in groups and individuals between what they believe and having exposure to people who have different beliefs. And that is one example of something that changed gradually and over a long period of time. And if you could see yourself from prior to 2005 as a bigot, as someone who would treat someone differently just from who they love, then that might clue you in that you may still have things that you believe that are not right. And that there may still be things that your in-group or your church or your institution of science or whatever it is that you get your information from has flaws to this day that are worth thinking about. It's worth approaching with that frame of mind that maybe not everything that we believe is right. Maybe not everything that the Catholics believe is wrong. Maybe not everything that the fundamentalist Christians believe is completely wrong. Maybe that there's some things that they, they still have right that are worth keeping even if the vast majority of how they think about it is completely wrong and broken. Uh, and so, again, just try to look at things in, a, in the, the one year or the 10 year context. Try to build this context if it is not available to you. You know, write things down, take, take notes. And uh, hopefully over time, you will see things more clearly and you will overcome your own paths. If you have any questions, either now or in the future, uh, about this approach, feel free to ask anywhere where this video is posted. And uh, you can send Bitcoin to whatever uh, address uh, is posted on this uh, video thread. And uh, hopefully we'll see you next video.